you back here. Ah! A little over a year ago, we decided to bring our style of overlanding to life. This weekend warrior style of overland documentary was born. We struggled at first. Where do we go? We finally decided Menachee Meadows and the Menachee Jeep Trail was the right place to start. scenic vistas and an amazing weekend with friends that cemented that this is what we needed to do. Next on the list, we returned to a familiar stomping ground as we set up and scoured Big Bear, California for that most scenic and most remote destination. Atta girl. You're good. Keep it in it, keep it in it, keep it in it, yeah boy. Woo! Nice! <laughs> Next on the list, we gave our hand at attending events. The American Adventurist Mountain Rendezvous had us exploring once again. Meeting new people and getting out into adventure. The desert then called, as we explored the bizarre and alien world of Joshua Tree National Park, a truly wondrous place. Finally, we turned our attention to the Mojave Road. Freddie had flown in, as he has done for this trip as well, to explore and enjoy all the Mojave Road has to offer. We spent the entire time reveling in its majesty. And that brings us to season two, our most ambitious trip and trail yet, the Utah Traverse. Some 600 miles of off-road splendor and some of the best that Utah has to offer. We started this journey we are calling the Utah Traverse, ironically enough, in Arizona. Day one was to be a very light day of sightseeing and covering miles, starting at the Grand Canyon and eventually finding our way into Colorado. Just ahead on your left is the turnout for Pipe Class. Um, yeah. What's well, the has a little, uh, USB port too. In the winter. Oh, my I want to come back. I want to come back. I still can't believe it's all man-made. Right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> 
The Grand Canyon is amazing. No camera work we could have done would have done it true justice. Just a head app says that the squirrels cause more harm to humans than any other wild animal in the park. It's pretty pathetic. They're small, but they're dangerous. Gentlemen. <laughs> Both those famous. <laughs> After Balto's photo shoot, it was time to do the right thing. Get proof we were actually at the Grand Canyon. Doing it in true Overland style with an official patch. Not even real. Right. <laughs> Welcome to Green Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. You have a great day. <laughs> Good weekend. Bye. Thank you. You got you got your kids, the squirrels that kill more people or cause more bodily injury than people. <laughs> Just once. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Right here, oh, yeah. oh, no. oh, okay. They had some animals in there that were forty feet dollars. No, <laughs> no. Get that. On our way out, we took advantage of the cooler temps and a well-placed roadside stop to grab a bite of food before pushing the miles to our next stop, Monument Valley. The drive to Monument Valley is pretty uneventful, so self-entertainment is recommended to fight off the car crazies. I can't hear you, it's going crazy back here! Ah! Monument Valley is truly spectacular. Red spires of rock jutting up out of the landscape that is completely flat otherwise. Such a wonderful place needs to make it onto your bucket list. Working our way out of Monument Valley, we pushed east to this day's terminus just on the other side of the Colorado border. Camp was to be a remote, scenic vista of a point. Finally getting the tires on some dirt, we ascended the switchbacks to what would be an awesome camp in the night.
We sat in wonder at what we all thought was a sunset that couldn't be improved upon. A short-lived sentiment, but in the moment, all we could think of. An early bedtime was calling us as we have some 200 plus miles of unknown territory ahead of us tomorrow.